First things first, you're going to disconnect your negative battery terminal. They're Phillips screws. You're going to need a small screwdriver like this to get in here. Make sure you don't lose these. Now after you've taken out those two top screws, there's this plastic piece that goes right here. You just pry it up. And then there's two screws, one right here and one on the other side. These are the same screws as the ones at the top, so you don't need to worry about getting them mixed up. Put it all the way down to low. There we go. There we go. Now it comes out really easily. Now there are four screws on the side. One here, one the same one over there, one down there, and the same one will be on the other side. There's two bottom screws that you see attaching to a plastic screen. Do not remove those ones, those are the wrong ones. Now this you should be able to tilt forward. There's one wire on the back right here. All you need to do is pinch it and disconnect it. Just like that. And now the dash will come out. This is a 10 pack of LED lights that I got off Amazon. I'll have these linked down below. These are PC74 bulbs. And gently twist it to the left. And then pull it out. There you go. So these are the LED bulbs. Oops, dropped a bunch of them. They come with their own socket. There you go. You don't need to twist it too much. This is the orientation you're going to want it to be in. That corner and that corner is where the connections are that need to touch these metal parts. You can just look at it before you take it off. Make sure that the copper connections are touching those metal. And then your lights should work. Alrighty, that solved the problem. Another note I want to give you real quick that I just noticed. My gauges went on the other side of the pin because as you can see, they do fall. So make sure when you put this back in that you make sure your gauges fall back to the other side where they belong. So that one's there, that one's there, that one's there, that one's there. Otherwise your gauges won't work. And there we go. All the gauges are working correctly again. So now we can go ahead and fit this back in its place. And we can grab our screws and screw them back in the same way they came out.